take two. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It is September the 25th. It is about good 62 degrees. It's breezy here in Michigan. I received my walk, my 0.3 ounces of walking onions from in my gardener. <clears throat> six. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh walking onions. So they're like a green onion. I had to read up on them. I don't think they don't bulb at the bottom, but what they do is when you get the green top, they have more of those bulbs at the top. I think they call bulbils. And then because the the weight they head over, they turn over and reseed in the ground um, and sort of give you that walking effect. Um, it is cool. It's about 62 degrees out here in Michigan, zone 6A. I'm Rashida Monique if I didn't introduce myself. So welcome to my video, you guys. Um, I amended those two beds with garden tone and <coughs> um, perlite and bone meal for my garlic, Brussels sprouts, and I think I'm gonna do kale. Yeah. And then I, anything that I have planted in those is going in the ground, even if I don't have enough time. <laughs> because I have blankets, right? I have blankets, so hopefully I can get everything rooted and it does well. And then if it doesn't, then I know better next year for the fall. I think the biggest problem with some of my things is I didn't up pop them. So some of them were root bound. Some of them uh, are really small. My ceilings were really small, but look, as small as my mustard. So these, cow these mustards that I planted the other day, see they've grown root leaps and bounds as I put them in the ground. The collars over here, they're, they're making it, but they're not as big as I want them to be. But I'm gonna sow some from seed today and see what happens. So this is like, a see what happens, first time fall slash winter gardening experiment. <laughs> okay, you guys, I'm gonna do some Mizuna mustard, some more, Southern Georgia collards and some regular Southern Giant curled mustard. Um, I do have seeds from in my gardener and uh, homestead heart, but I want to use the ones that I have open already. So I'm gonna sow those from seed. I'm debating on putting those last two cabbages there. It might just be that one cabbage and let this cabbage go by the way of um, the garden heaven. And I might put a Brussels sprout there. Should I put it there? Probably not. But will I put it there? More than likely. <laughs> All right. Hey, you guys. Uh, cabbages are in. Seeds are sown. Chestnut rig is go going in the border. This is, I have two bulbs of this side. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, I got quite a few clothes. One, two three, four, five, six, probably about six or seven cloves. So I have 14 heads of garlic here. Um, yeah, let's see if I can work it out in this bed. I'm doing my holes. I'm gonna put a little bit of bone meal and garden tone in each hole um, and plant my garlic heads. Let's see what happens. Hey everybody. Okay, bed number one is done. We have um, walking onion there, cabbage, mizuna, mustard, collard, and around the border here, and there is chestnut garlic. Now, I end up putting garlic in between my collards <laughs> because I only want one type of garlic per bed. And one bulb had seven cloves, the other bulb had 14. So they were 398 for a head of seed garlic. So I pay eight dollars for 22 potential bulbs. 21, 17 and 7, 14 and 7. Yes, yeah, 21 potential heads of garlic. I'm excited. Okay, y'all. This fall garden is going to be an experiment of all experiments. And I stopped Googling what I could and couldn't do because I don't know about telling me what I can and can't do because I ain't got but much space. So I started in the Brussels sprouts. 
they've been uh, neglected. But I didn't want to throw no more plants away, so I just put them in the ground. But around those, these this is in bed four, uh, is the Bloomdale, Bloomsdale spinach around there. So if that doesn't make it, I still have spinach, hopefully. And then this Brussels sprout, I have in the middle section of bed number uh, four, and it's the spinach butterfly. I picked these seeds up from tea tractor supply because um, I wanted different types of spinach. Okay, I have my Matechi garlic here. I have 14 cloves, 14 cloves of Matechi garlic planted there. Yeah, I'm trying to grab my tools before I go to the next spot. I have in bed number five um, a Brussels sprout with, oh y'all, kale. This is premium kale planted around this. And I'm making this video thing because I ran out of tags, so I can't even tag this stuff. This is Ivan garlic planted in the middle. This is celery that I started, and I know it's about to be too cool for celery, but if I have some, if I can get it to grow some and repot it or grow, pick it young, whatever. I have um, dinosaur kale around that. Over here, y'all remember, I did the C tape. The radishes are coming up. That spinach that I thought was missing, somehow, dirt was just piled on top of it for some reason it was still there so for that i'm grateful i have seed tape there in the between those two spinaches and i think it's carrots they haven't started to come up yet but if you see right here i took i picked that um shard swiss shard up and did some seed here and seed here i don't see any of my wax bean seeds germinating they may not Oh, but these sweet peas, y'all, they want to grow. Guys, bed number two, more seed tape. I don't know if you can see those little green things in there. Let's say these carrots about to come up and so are those beets. All right, and our cabbages are holding on. I don't know what they are gonna do. I was telling my mom the reason I didn't way to start my well I was going to start my seed uh my spinach my seed and my kale and I said they've been so neglected in the house so I might as well just put them in the ground and concentrate on watering them outside so these seed the seed tape is coming up bed number one um I think I showed you guys this already but I have walking onion cabbage um, what's the name of that garlic already? Chisnock garlic. And then I have my seed collards and Muzzini, Muzuna mustards. These mustards from the spring, I think I'm going to um, pick those today and take them in when I take the rest of my stuff in the house. And so that's what I've done today. Um, yes, that tomato's still in the bag and still dead, and it's gonna be there till I get to it. The hoops are still in the Amazon box because my goal today was to get stuff in the ground. It's gonna rain tomorrow, but I'm going to water this, water this, um, water these in. Um, I have red cups to show me where I put my other garlic, and I'm doing this video so I can remember where is where. So, yes. <laughs> this is what we're doing. Yes, it looks like my sister says Fred Sanford. But I need to get a tote. I have totes in the house with stuff in them. And I was like, I'm not buying a tote for dirt. I need to just clear out a tote for this soil. And then... Uh, I just pulled that out to break up the ground in there because I've been for the dirt in those silver 
um, containers, but I just um, hadn't done anything with it. Um, so I added um, in the holes for my garlic um, some bone meal and garden tone so that they have something to feed on over the winter because that's what they said to do was to fertilize um and that's what i had um and i think the bone hold on the bone meal mentioned um bulb bulbing fruit or bulbing bulbs is it just said bulbs so that's what i did so i'm excited i'm gonna have like 48 40, 48 cloves of garlic lord willing 48 cloves of garlic bulb mm. i don't know what's a bulb and what's a clove a bulb a bulb of garlic bulb is the whole thing clove is the each piece so 48 i think that'll be enough to get us through the year family of five I ain't but two of us cooking <laughs> family of four sorry my brother is married and moved to another city I ain't but two of us cooking so i think uh that'll work all right you guys hey you guys it's still monday it is two and a half hours later almost three hours later um i came out here about 8 30. it's almost 11 30. i got these um plastic um outside planting planters don't remember what i bought them for um i got some for 4.99 i went back they were they weren't 4.99 anymore they were 7.99 but i got them anyway but I don't remember what I got on for, but I've been using them for storage because um, I don't have a chest or a shed um, on my front porch. And so I have my insecticide out here. Um, my garden tone, fertilizer. And then this is just a recycle bag for my insect netting. Um, I thought it was gonna keep out, uh, I did that to keep out ex excessive moisture and things, but it still has holes in it. I didn't realize it had holes in it, but whatever. I did the same thing for my bone meal. Organic sources of phosphorus, bone meal. So, um, yeah, I'm just putting things back under the second one is my it's a bucket but my dad gave me this when I was gardening at the apartment and um so I have some things in here this basket these are for snipping my chicken wire utility knife landscaping staples um a pen cups and stuff when i was up potting things so i'm just putting things back because that is one of the things i'm working on is putting things back where i got them so when i need them i can find them <laughs> so yeah today has been a good day i had a list and an ambitious goal time goal and I have never planted garlic before and I've never planted onions before and so my t and I had to still um, loosen that soil in those new beds and so it took a little longer than I thought but it's okay this is my hoop kit it comes with hoops it comes with these sticks they're bendo flexible and then you have these connectors and clips from Amazon. I only bought one set because I don't know how I will like them if they work with what I'm trying to do. But I really, I, I think I'd be better putting things together than trying to build them from scratch uh, from Home Depot at the moment because I'm not trying to spend one, that type of money, two, that type of time and labor. I got several pair of gloves. I got garden gloves. I got work gloves. Um... Yeah, so I just keep my tools out here, shears, little shovel, hand shovel. This goes onto my mail can. I said I didn't have no garden tags out there, y'all. I probably should go back out here and tag some of my stuff. 
No, I don't. I gotta go. I got to. I'm supposed to be leaving here by 12 15 to be at work on time, y'all. Y'all know that ain't about to happen, right? But um, I said I, did, I ran a tags. I was using popsicle sticks, but I only took a few down with me. Not realizing I was gonna need more than what I did. Because one, I didn't plan on planting as much as I planted. I'm planting as much as I planted. Um, but I got all the things, all the spaces in the raised beds field. Everything, I don't have no more seedlings in my house. Um, at this moment, I am going to start some more spinach seed and some kale because that's not going to do what I wanted to do. That will. Thank you, Lord, for common sense. Um, <laughs> um, because I want a succession plant, my kale. Now my mosquito plant. The citronella is dying back. The lemongrass is dying back. My original plan was to harvest my lemongrass, but I never got to it. <laughs> um, my potatoes. Last bag of potatoes. I think that's officially dead. I hope my potatoes aren't dead. But they were green a few days ago, but it's been hot, hot, cold, cold. I have not watered it. I have not done anything to keep it alive. Those little onions I was trying to start from seed, you guys. I just gave up the ghost. I just gave it up. That's something we'll try in the spring. Now, my basil, on the other hand, I trimmed back and made some basil water last week, maybe week before last. So good, and it is bushing out. And last but not least, one of my favorites is my cinnamon basil cinnamon basil and so i'm excited about getting true leaves on the cinnamon basil so probably in a couple of weeks or so i will start uh trimming some off and i just broadcasted the seed in this one pot so by rice i probably can separate this later um into smaller pots i need to order some pots because i was given these mums Memorial Day, Labor Day. And can I tell you, I don't think they're gonna make it in this pot much longer. But I have nothing. I was gonna say, I don't have anything to put them in except for a three gallon grow bag. And I have soil, so maybe that's what I'll do. You guys, okay, I just put them in my three gallon growing bags. Um, They were out here. And I should have cleaned them and washed them, but I didn't. So we just gonna pray that they do well. Um, and no fungus um, is in there. That was the, what was in there didn't die from a fungus. It can't. It died from neglect. <laughs> but um, I added. I took some soil. Some um, actually some garden soil actually from Kellogg's. Added some perlite and some garden tone to it. And put it in these, put them in these three gallon bags. So there's one mom, and here is the other. So I just need to water them in, and I can stop worrying about that. But I still need some pots. I need some pots because the cinnamon basil. I think I just said I broadcasted this in here, and um, I'm gonna separate to have several basil plants around the house and. Um, I'll take some to my mom's house so I have some basil over there. Um, almost all my pots are empty, my uh, fabric pots. That's supposed to be ginger and turmeric. <laughs> Y'all know this Michigan Inn ain't hot enough for this ginger to survive, even though it has started growing. So, what I'll probably do is when I get a big pot, um, pot it up. My turmeric didn't do anything anything so I'm not gonna worry about that either I can just um, repurpose the soil and see what happens or maybe I can put it in a smaller pot and let it um, 
what I say, over winter is what people have been talking about. I don't know. But yeah, that was shallow soil. But this is, I think this is, no, that's not ginger. I'm so sad. That's a, that's a weed, y'all. But it's a piece of ginger in here, y'all. Let's see. I was so hopeful that that was, I didn't even look at it anymore. Nope, that's the ginger. It is spongy. So, yep, I started ginger in the house before summer. We'll try it again. All right? Try, try, try again. Yeah, that's all mushy. That's not doing anything. So, here's some soil I could use for something else. All right, you guys. I'm doing it for real this time. Hey, y'all. <clears throat> it's Rashida Monique again. It's still Monday, y'all. <laughs> It's a quarter to two, and I am organizing my um, what is this? My lunch pail. But I just forgot to do a little garden chat while I work. Um, so I didn't finish everything I wanted to do in the garden. Um, I wasn't able to get my hoops up and my netting clipped in. Um, and I think that's the last thing I wanted to do. And then once I get the hoops up, depending on how they fit, how everything clipped together, um, then I'll test clipping my frost blanket on it. And if that works with those clips and that hoop, I'm going to order a second set, order a couple of another blankets because I only had ordered one blanket because I really wasn't sure how I was going to like the blanket and things of that nature. But it was a productive three-hour morning, right? Um, I'm excited about the first, right? This is my last week of being 48, you guys. It's my last week of being 48. Then I enter to my last year of my 40s. And I am excited about the things I've accomplished in my 40s and there's still much more to accomplish but this week i'm excited about doing something new and that is not just gardening but not quitting because i've been known to quit a thing or two now not quitting um uh persevering not quitting and doing some planting something new planting garlic i i planted 48 cloves of garlic. I have 21 cloves of Chesnock garlic. I think all these are German names or Russian names. Metechi, M-E-T-E-C-H-I. I have 14 cloves of garlic. Garlic, And then I have Ivan, which is, which was 13 cloves of garlic. So 13 plus 14 is 27, and 21 is 48. So if they all come to uh, um, bulb up in the spring, I think I got plenty of garlic. I think I have plenty of garlic. Um, now, the question is, <laughs> uh, what am I going to do about onions? I have the green, I have the Egyptian walking onion with just like a green onion. <clears throat> I planted those today, which is the other new thing, right? Um, I've been trying to do some form of onion over the years, and I would get green onion for a little bit. I harvest it, it wouldn't grow back, but I just realized it was too hot. Because in the apartment building, you weren't allowed to plant your garden until the beginning of May. And y'all know I don't be prepared to get into May. I was putting that garden in at Memorial Day. And then it gets hot in Michigan. And so um, that's why it wasn't growing. So I did learn quite a few things as to why things failed for me um, previously. I tried broccoli one year. And it I had a whole lot of leaves. And I had these little bitty heads. And then I was like, well, where's my big head of garlic? At? I mean, broccoli. And then it um, went to seed. Too hot. Too hot. So, uh, anyway, it was too hot. So anyway, so 
so I'm happy that in the last week of my 48 that I'm doing new things. Um, hosting, volunteering to host um, the Soak event for, at our church. Um, I We've held stuff at our church before. I've been tasked to do things before. But just to volunteer? New thing. And as nerve-wracking as it was for me, um, I learned a lesson about pride. And I learned a lesson about trusting God. And if y'all want to hear more about that, put it down in the chat. If you watch this long, this long, this video, go down to the chat because I need y'all to engage with my video anyway. Tell me, do you want me to talk more about my pride and trusting in God um, during the planning of the Soak event, which was absolutely spectacular. It was a mighty move of God and people was on the floor and they wouldn't push down there either, okay? They, one uh, lady said, she said, all I felt was fire. <laughs> she said all I felt was fire I was like girl come on God is moving in this land y'all and if you want a piece of it you need to get in the prayer and the fast and into the somewhere where people ain't concerned about all the woo 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 but concerned about being in the presence of an awesome and mighty God and so it, it was two hours that was it seemed extremely long but then again it didn't you know what I'm saying? It was exactly what everybody that was in the room needed. And can't nobody meet the needs of multiple people at one time but God. Um, so that was a success. It was beautiful. Uh, Mama Brundage came out, was able to come out Saturday. She pressed her way Saturday and she pressed away the service on Sunday. And she was blessed and encouraged. And so I'm excited about that. Um... I'm just excited about what God is doing, not just in my life, but in yours too. You know, we're living in a, in commission, say, uh, we're living in perilous times. I'm thinking of a commission song. <clears throat> and um, the song off the album says, how can we sing when we're in a strange land? How can we face adversity? Oh, how? Can we stand in the midst of troubles when the enemy laughs at our beliefs? Ooh. Yeah, anyway. <sighs> These are perilous times, and Jesus is coming back. But you got to really read your word to know that he ain't, that the word says that there will be wars and rumors of wars. There will be earthquakes and all kinds of things in diverse places. Uh, men will be lovers of their own selves. Like we love ourselves more than we love our neighbor. We, don't, we love ourselves more than we love the earth. We just really just will love, promote self-love to the detriment of a whole community. Um, that we won't even do what is right to spare the life of a neighbor. You know what I'm saying? So these things are talked about in the Bible, but it also says in that scripture, the, the, the end is not yet. There will be prophets and many would claim to be the Christ and all these different things. But nothing in the Bible said that the saints couldn't thrive in the midst of all this change going on. We just really got to be uh, obedient to the Spirit of God. So anyway, my job is to thrive in this season. My job is I'm not walking in gloom and doom. I'm not going to board up my house and just sit in the corner and wait for Jesus to come back. No, I'm going to go out here. I'm going to enjoy this earth that he created. I'm going to enjoy the people that he put me in. And I'm going to keep learning new things and enjoy my garden. <laughs> so, yeah, thank you all for being here. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate you all for watching my videos on this uh whatever day you find this video this is still monday um on the 30th i don't know if i'm gonna do it any video i might just do a recap oh, if i do something for my birthday i'm not doing anything for my birthday but going to brunch um a few of us are going to brunch um uh, on saturday and then yeah, saturdays are with my mama so then i'm gonna go home with mama and we probably just watch some movies that's that'll be my birthday and that's fine um because I love my mama. 
Oh, but y'all know, maybe y'all don't know. I have a tendency to celebrate two months. And since I ain't done much in September, I might just be celebrating October and November. So don't be, don't be surprised. You see me posting a video up at the end of October or the first of November talking about, y'all, this is my birthday trip. This is my birthday, such and such. And you'd be like, I thought her birthday was in September. It is. But it's my birthday and I can celebrate when I want to. <laughs> All right, y'all. Bye.